Hello, big sellers. Welcome to today's video. I'm Helena, and I'll share with you the topic today. All things about setting the picklist template and scan the picklist to print shipping labels. This can be helpful for improving the efficiency of picking products and avoid picking mistakes. So now let's get into the detailed steps. So firstly, we need to enter the setting page. Click setting and then click print settings. Then in print setting under common templates, you can see pick list here. Then we click the edit button. Secondly, you can see this pick list page and then select the information we want to display on the pick list. First, you can see there are three template types for you to choose from. Tab 1, Tab 2, and a simplified template with no picture. Tab 1 looks like this, and then Tab 2 is like this, and then this is the simplified template. So if you want to display pictures on the pick list, like this one, you can choose the Tab 1 or Tab 2 template, or you can choose the simplified template. Then comes the size part. With type 1, there are two options to choose the size of the pick list, which are A4 and A6. And type 2 and the simplified template, the A4 size is available. Then in the layout section, you can choose to display the information on the pick list in portrait or landscape according to your needs. Next comes the order sorting. You can sort the order in these five ways. As you can see, when click this column, you can sort by order list or by product quantity ascending or descending and by SKU quantity ascending or descending. Next, you can choose the item type. These two are for you to choose from, the store product or merchant SKU. If you want to show the shelves on the pick list, please choose merchant SKU. Then the shelf info will be shown here. Then comes the common info part. Information like quantity of package, quantity of SKU, and so on will be displayed here. And you can click a certain column like this one. This is the pick list barcode. And then the pick list barcode will be shown on top of the pick list. And if you don't want to show it, click this button again and this barcode will disappear. You can also choose the font size. And it's the same in item info. You can choose certain info to be or not to be shown on the pick list, like product name, SKU, image, and so on. Here, in the quantity part, you can select to add the circle to the quantity. If you choose yes, then a circle will be added to the number of the product so it will be more noticeable and if you don't want the circle to be shown you can choose the no option and the circle will disappear and you can choose to sort the product by SKU or title or shelves and the font size can also be adjusted when all of this information is finished click the save button and you can set the pick list template successfully. Additionally, we have the mark settings function and by enabling this function, pick list will be marked as printed. And with this function, the pick lists that haven't been printed can be sorted out very quickly. In the package analysis report, you can also see this one. For example, you can see it here, the quantity of the pick lists that have been printed.
After the picklist setting is completed, we can print the picklist and start picking the products. To print it, please go to Orders and In Processing Orders. In both New Orders and In Process Orders, we can select the orders first. There is this Bulk Print button and click Print Picklist. And the picklist will be printed. And after this, a small mark will be shown here, meaning that the picklist has been printed. And the next step will be picking the products on the picklist. When the picking is completed, you can scan the picklist barcode or package barcode to print the shipping label. And we can enter the in process orders and move the mouse to scan and ship and choose the scan to print. And here you can choose to scan the package barcode or to scan the picklist barcode. The difference between them is that scanning package barcode will only print the shipping label of the particular package, while scanning picklist barcode can print all the packages on the picklist. And then choose the printer. After this, click the long column and then Scan the barcode with scanner or input the barcode number. And the scan results will be displayed below and the shipping label will be printed automatically. Okay, congratulations on watching this video until here. Now you must have known all the things about setting customized picklist and scan the picklist to print shipping labels. If you find this video helpful, subscribe our channel and see more practical videos coming. And welcome to leave your comment below if you have any questions. So see you next time. Bye.